Hi, I'm Mehul Harry with DevExpress. In this case study, we meet Everett, an ASP.NET developer from the Netherlands. Everett has created a fantastic website for a client of his to manage nematodes, which are like bacteria or something. And the website is very slick. It leverages several DevExpress ASP.NET controls as well as jQuery to give him cross-browser compatibility as well as some mobile tablet support on iPads. So let's check it out. Hi, so today I'm here with... Yes, I'm uh, Everett Wiesenegger. I uh, develop uh, C-sharp ASP.NET applications uh, for almost, I guess, eight years, seven years. First started in Delphi. And uh, yeah, now uh, focusing on only on websites, ASP.NET websites. Wow, okay. so. Uh, you've got this site that you've built using uh, Dell's ASP.NET stuff, and what is this? Um, I can't pronounce Wageningen Gen Nematode Collection. <laughs> yeah, Wageningen Nematode Collection. It's a uh, it's a uh, taxonomic database. It's uh, built for uh, uh, maybe you heard of all these institutes which inspect all kind of uh, agricultural food on uh, airports and so on. And they and these people needed a, a taxonomic database for all kind of uh, pathogenic uh, germs and uh, bacteria. And this is nematodes. And nematodes are a big problem in agricultural crops. Wow, that's very interesting. So essentially, this allows uh, your clients to keep track of germs within agriculture and so forth. Yeah, they uh, have to give them a name and. Uh, a big problem with naming conventions uh, is uh, that sometimes they change because now there are modern techniques like DNA sequencing and so on. So sometimes uh, most some of the species are defined 100 years ago and now we have newer techniques and then they get another name because they belong to another family or species. Yes. That is crazy and very interesting. Yeah. And so what does this site particularly do for them? It allows them to uh, keep track of all these germs or where they're found and so forth? I mean, who uses this website? Yeah, most uh, the uh, taxonomic uh, scientists, it's a very old profession. And they usually um, uh, did this, uh, wrote these uh, taxonomic cards on paper. And this is a very nice part because uh, there were about 30,000 uh, taxonomic cards written on paper by written by type machine. And uh, the person I I do this job for uh, had sent these taxonomic cards to India, and they OCR scanned it and transformed it into XML. And uh, so he had about 30,000 XML files, but he didn't know what to do with it. So uh, that's why he came to me. I have yeah, 30,000 files, but I don't know what to do with it. So uh, yeah, I decided to uh, offer him a website uh, with a database. So, yeah, it involved a, a lot of conversion of this XML uh, to yeah, a proprietary format, a, a database. I use RavenDB as a backend store. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was very difficult, or because it was not perfect, the OCR scanning and so on. So there were a lot of errors. I made a converter, but has, I had to do a lot of things by hand. Wow. So first of all, this site uh, looks very nice. I, I like how you've got use of rounded corners and so forth. Yeah. Um, where? So how did you end up deciding on um, using DevExpress for this? Um, what led you? to say that I need something from DevExpress to incorporate into this site. Yeah, I will not mention names of other companies I tried, but this site was a, a turning point for me because I was disappointed with the speed of the ASP.NET sites I developed in the past. I always used, uh, uh, later on I used update panels and AJAX, but you know, the, the way AJAX is implemented in uh, ASP.NET uh, gives sluggy side for me and it was also a lot of complaint from clients uh, that, that the speed is sometimes uh, lacking behind even for simple sites so for me it was uh, a turning point i wanted to decide now and this site must be high performance it, it, that was the main goal for me it must be uh, because there's a lot of uh, data entry and updating and so on so as Beginning my search, DevExpress was not my first choice. It was just I started with a product my client was already using. 
So I, I tried to develop a speedy site with this product, but I didn't succeed, mainly because I was forced to use update panels and so on. Then I built another pro I tried another product, but it was problematic for cross-browser uh, support. I noticed uh, some people are using Safari or the iPad too nowadays. My client is using the iPad for this site. So this, this, this product failed on cross-browser uh, support. So I ended up using uh, DevExpress, which uh, proved to be a very good choice. It was mainly because of your callback uh, uh, support. It's very easy. You have a very good client library and it's well understood. With the update panel, I sometimes got into trouble what events we're raising. So, but with your callback structure, structure, I never have, have any problems. It's quite understandable, and so it's, I'm very happy with it. Yeah. As you can see, you will see it's a enormous speed this site, and I was very amazed by this. So, Everett, I am blown away. So, not only did you try a bunch of different things, but you said that ultimately when you needed performance, you even tried the, the basic stuff from Microsoft with update panels and some competitors. And ultimately you decided that uh, with the cross browser support that DevExpress gives you, you were able to make your end users happy. Now, when you did switch over, did your end users notice? Yeah, I, um, yeah, I have, I have, my client is, uh, it's quite, he has all kind of new things. He has an iPad too, he has an iPhone. And the first thing he does is always, oh, look how the site is looking with the way on iPhone or on iPad. And I was amazed it, it, it works. Some things were not working, but okay, that was understandable. It was sometimes a drop down in some places. But it, I was amazed. I was very afraid when he did this because that was his first impression. But he was very uh, happy. Hey, it's working on my iPhone and it's working on my iPad. And, and uh, I was amazed too because I've developed some sites in the past uh, that do not like SharePoint sites. They they don't give cross-browser uh, support, and it's very important because you see people do a lot of Fire Firefox and Safari and all these different uh, mobile phones. So I was, I was, I'm really uh, happy with this. Uh, I, I can't wait to try this on my iPad. I, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I mean I'm I'm impressed. You've already got it working for a tablet device as well as the uh, iPhone, um, mainly because honestly, right now, we don't officially support the mobile devices. But as you can see, those, uh, you know, we support multiple browsers and the iOS operating system does a really good job of giving you Safari, which has full JavaScript and CSS support. So that's impressive, Everett. Then it's lucky I have a Mac at home so I can try it. So it's more or less that you do it by accident, but. Usually I forget these things. It's not very good, but <laughs> so. so so this website right now, I see a couple of to dos. So this is actually a, a site. I'm imagining that you probably are showing us a a, a new site, yep. so that you, you're not exposing some customer information. No, no, it's not. It's no problem at all. It's a work in progress, and I hope to finish in I guess two to three weeks and uh, fix up the last uh, errors. But there are some things that must be done. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's 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 for the it's, the first page you see here is for the customer. Is some kind of uh, I always like customers who have problems in using a computer. So then I begin to think, how can I make things easier? Like a content management. Usually it's it's very difficult for people. So what you see here is uh, the customer can just write his document in uh, in Word. And if you just give some tags, a tag, as a, this is a new page, then it will automatically, with the help of jQuery, uh, transform into a tablet-like system. It's very nice, yeah. Oh, wow. So you've got, you've got jQuery uh, integrated in here as well. So let's start. So what is this site built with? First of all, you've got DevExpress, you've got jQuery, as you mentioned. Yeah, it's a, it's a, the backend store is RavenDB. That's also the, the performance uh, I got in mind. I, I needed something fast. I needed something easy. And the easiness of Raven, and especially one important thing, is the embedded Lucene search engine. That's, uh, I always get problems with, uh, like SQL Server and search. It, it's, it, it does not give me the full flexibility I get with Raven. So Raven is based on two things, or three things, speed, uh, search facilities, and the easy deployment. It's very easy to deploy. It's, it's, it's almost copy-paste deployment. 
did so yeah so wow yeah. that's really impressive um is that a nosql database yeah it's, a, it's no sql database you have to think about your model because you cannot model the way like uh you're used to with using sql server because uh, you have relationships but you have to do some tricks. You have, suppose you have a normalized model. You know what a normalized model is. It's completely uh, one big database with all kinds of relations. But you have to think about pulling these together. So denormalize your model just to make it easy. Well, because no SQL, not only SQL database is not so good with relations. But it's possible. I, I, I could use it here. So, yeah. Another technology is it, uh, it's, also using dependency injection, so it's a repository patterns I use. So uh, this was more or less uh, I needed this because, I, of course, I'm afraid that not RavenDB maybe won't succeed. Uh, I won't hope this, but then you have to think about uh, easy pluggable uh, infrastructure. So with repositories and repositories. It's all interfaced, and the interfaces are implemented by Raven services. So it's the service layer. It has dependency injection using using simple injector. Uh, I like keep I like keeping things sim simple, so I decided to use a simple injector. That works very nicely. And just out of curiosity, so is this a uh, web forms site or an MVC site? No, it's an ASP .NET web form site. Yeah, I <laughs> never. Uh, so you got yeah. Mostly speed is associated with MVC sites, but it is possible using uh, your product with ASP.NET formed sites. We will see in a demo. Exactly. See, it's all about architecture, and it sounds like you've got best practices going on in there, and you've got the right tools, and uh, you've chosen a uh, database that particularly will be very helpful for the type of information you're displaying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you walk me through and... Uh, show us uh, if other you know developers are interested. So, what kind of components did you use from DevExpress, and uh, why, and maybe what features you like about them? I will first give a demo without logging in. This this is what everybody sees. So this is the homepage with the content the client can enter here, and it's jQuery using jQuery to page through all the content. The most important thing is uh, is the search button. Here I'm using uh, DevExpress tree list, very powerful with the load on demand features, which you definitely uh, need here because species can have so many different names. You have a very hierarch hierarchy inside the name. So if I give you, uh, I will first show a little uh, demonstration of the speed of search. This is the DevExpress drop-down using load on demand uh, features. Wow. I will scroll through it. As you can see, it's loading on demand. It's very fast. That's great. You're loading on demand and everything. That's fantastic. Yeah. And then now comes a, a very nice part too. I just select it and just go down with the cursor down. And it's amazing wow. speed. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's all doing uh, loading asynchronously. So that's very good about uh, it's, it's, it's a very good about this product. You can just load on demand and yeah. it's amazing speed. Yeah, and uh, as that you is can, really impressive, uh, Everett. Yeah. And on the left, you can see the synonyms they call it. You see a uh, Melody Jiny, it's called, and this has a synonym. Oops, so Spurina, it's all Latin, so you all need, yeah, you can travel down this tree uh, very easily. That's fantastic. So you've got the tree list there. You've got our uh, 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 drop down or SPX comma yep. box. And um, are, are you using um, uh, any update? I'm sorry, any callback panels or any um, any particular things that you're using just for updates? Uh, using callback? The callback panel, yeah. The the, the big uh, the two callback panels. It's the tree list and uh, the content on the on the right where the, all the tabs are. There's also a, a, a DevExpress tab uh, bar, like general images and uh, types. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and uh, what I really like is the client scripting. It's, I'm not very good in, uh, in JavaScript, but the client scripting engine uh, helped really a lot. Yeah, so, very happy with it.
you've made really good use of it. Now, what what are you using from jQuery, uh, particularly on this page? Yeah, here it's only the images part that's uh, that's uh, used. I will give an example. That's very nice. I, I using your uh, your data list feature. If if uh, this is if there are three tabs: general images. And for this species, there are images defined. They're very old drawings of the species. They're about 100 years old. And here I'm using jQuery. Wow. So just a, a combination of your data list ah. and jQuery. I transform this into, a, yeah, supports mouse over events and so on. That's very nice, yeah. That is, that is. But I stole this from jQuery UI tools. They're very good uh, tools. So should I be worried about any of these nematodes? Are, are they going to be in my apples or oranges anytime soon? <laughs> well, there are big problems in uh, in uh, potatoes, especially. And Holland is uh, growing a lot of potatoes, so there are very big problems sometimes. There's another tab. It's just uh, it's again a tree list, but it's just it's a variation on the search, but it's just uh, all the type species that's. That means the species for which there is a microscopic slide. So it's it's a kind of data bank, but then in real, a physical data bank. Yeah. It's, it's just a and, variation. And out of curiosity, I'm, I'm sorry, on the right-hand side, is that a grid? Are you data binding that? No, no, no. It's a repeater control. Yeah. I always try things oh, first. Um, first things to keep it as simple as possible. And then when I don't manage it using simple controls, I will... Uh, a data grid will be my last option. It just you know I completely agree with you. That that's a wise statement. Always go with the simplest, and then yep. uh, as you need more features or power uh, or performance, you know, the simplest will work the best, right? Yeah. I, I forgot uh, to mention one very important thing. Uh, I can disable your uh, your control rendering. I like the design sites. It's it's one of my hobbies. Mm -hmm. And I like to be in control of the CSS, and that's possible too. And that's a very good point of your product line. That's uh, so like I can completely style the buttons or uh, or everything. Most things I won't style, of course, a drop down list I, or a tree list I won't style myself. But for buttons, I, I really like it. I can just look, yeah, use CSS, and then uh, it works. That is impressive. Yeah, uh, I'm impressed by your uh, designer skills. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> so. Here comes an interesting part. Uh, of course, you want to do some content. Uh, the client, of course, wants to change name or add new species. And this is completely based on callbacks. So I do never use update panels or I only use your client scripting library and uh, callback panels. And that was a, a it was a risk for me, but it worked in the end, and that's uh, it's very good. And this also was a variation. I'm going to the login page. That's quite different than you expect here. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. So uh, it's not based on entering a, a password. It's based on a, pa a pattern. I stole this from uh, an Android phone I saw two years ago. I think uh, so. It's not my own idea. <laughs> I don't want to have the credits for it, but. Uh, Maybe I can use your uh, email address and try it with your email address. Sure. Uh, try mharry at devexpress.com. Ah, it's remembering. Oh, Gmail. Your Gmail oh, that's account. Fine. Another yeah? one works. Is that uh, no problem? Uh, I don't remember if that's what I used to log in, but yeah, let's try. I defined it for you. So this is your pattern. If In case you've forgotten it, you can uh, mail. It's using... Uh, as you can see, all in Dev Express buttons, and uh, wow! Let's see if it works. I'm sure I'll, I'll be I'll be getting a lot of questions on how do I style my Dev Express buttons to look uh, as good as Everett's. <laughs> I hope <laughs> maybe we can design a, a theme for you. <laughs> <laughs> see, it but, works. but I really it's like the a... pattern. Uh, and just out of curiosity, so uh, do you define the initial pattern for them? Uh, yeah, but it's, were... it will be an extra tab in the, where they can find users and, and, and the pattern. It's, uh, I'm already working on it. So you're logged in. Here, uh, I sometimes use the DevExpress uh, 
AliExpress uh, tooltips, which I very much like, but if it's simple enough, then I use the tooltips from standard uh, HTML. Of course, the difficulties, yeah, they exactly. disappear after a while. I will show you a search. Here I'm using a DevExpress tooltip. Very nice. Yeah. I always like these kind oh. of help uh, help icons next to uh, next to a control. I never use uh, help files anymore for users. They don't read them. So I completely fixed on uh, help icons next to the controls. Yeah, that's so that's now, fantastic. I, that's a really nice tooltip that you've got there too. It's very inf informational and helpful to the end user. So now you're logged in. It's still now edit mode. I, I, I decided to uh, to split this. You have an edit mode and uh, and you're authenticated. So we put it in edit on mode, and then you will see the DevExpress uh, editor. And this is what I uh, mentioned with uh, the user, the client I work for likes to work, is used to work. So suppose he wants to uh, add a new uh, page. He just uh, types in uh, oh, DevExpress. Content content about DevExpress. And a nice thing is, if he just wants to to behave this as a new uh, page, it just goes to the style, which you can customize. That's a nice thing too. And of course, and if I put press save, you see a DevExpress pop up. Very nice these things. Always helps a user these kind of things. I usually miss this with some sites. When you did something, you don't know if it had happened. So I used the pop up a lot for these things. And you see another uh, tab, DevExpress. Very slick, I have to say. I'm I'm really impressed. And I don't have to teach the, the client about defining new pages because my experience is. Uh, some customers uh, are very used to to uh, word processors like Word or other things, and so they they can work as they used to uh, work. So I'm using a okay. Put it on edit edit on mode again, and now I see I made a mistake, but that won't be a problem because I was expecting the administration page. So I have some work to do. Well, I'm logged in now, so uh, I'm administrator. Uh, this is very wow. nice. So what does that give you now, admin and site admin? What do those buttons give you? Uh, give the end user if they have that? The admin is yeah. I first had them. Uh, the site admin is everything to do with uh, define users, or oh. exporting the complete database. It's something I uh, I'm working now on. It's it's a complete export to Excel just to be. Uh, the client wants to have some security uh, that that is data. He likes to be in control, so he likes now and then to have some export possibility. So it's completely exporting into uh, the complete database export. Admin is the administration of the of the species. And here you see a lot a lot of, a lot of nice things. It's a very uh, it's highly advanced, mm -hmm. I must say, because it's losing a, a lot of Dev Express controls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a search button here. As you can see, load on demand because I have to load from 30,000 uh, species. Wow, that's excellent. So we cannot use something like a, a complete, everything has to be load on demand. And the nice thing is, this is, it's a user control, so this is the same, the search, this is the same, and this is the same. And here is an on, on leave event, and this is searching too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Suppose I'm entering a, 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 an existing an existing species. Let's try it. Suppose a user starts here, here, and it's loading the data because I I, I programmed an on leave event, and then it loads. Uh, it's very nice too. Wow. Here is search in the database, and it works. It was very amazing for me because I was expecting it to crash uh, using so much. Uh, mm -hmm. So much load on demand uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. After uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm really excited about this. That, uh, as you can hear. <laughs> yes. No. I, I like I said, you have very good reason to be excited. It's a very nice site. The speed is is also amazing. It's uh, yeah. Okay. Now this 
this is the. Let me ask you this: w Was it difficult to modify? Because uh, you've got some of your own styles on these Dev Express controls, was that difficult, or or was it because you had experience with CSS that it wasn't that difficult, or can anybody do it? Now most of the controls were quite easy uh, to modify because uh, there were only a few tricky uh, controls. I had to override the native uh, Dev Express classes, but it's supported. You can just right click on a control. And then you see the, the native classes that are used. So you can override them with the CSS important uh, tag. But you do, I, I use this a lot for SharePoint sites to customize these. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, uh, I only had a few, few, on a few occasions I needed to override mm -hmm. it. But most of it, for 95%, it worked excellent. I can just, yeah, you can see the buttons are completely my own style. So it was no problem at all. Yeah. And this is also very nice because this using, uh, as you can see, call back panels here too. Because I have a lot of data to select from, so I need some needed some uh, some uh, customization. Of course, I could have done this with a grid too, but I took the path of keep it simple, load mm -hmm. on demand, drop downs, and have a simple uh, list box. This is all Dev Express. I'm 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 really impressed, and I as I said, I'm going to try this on the iPad right after we uh, finish this. <laughs> Some things won't work. <laughs> I have to warn you, but, <laughs> but uh, the no, client the was news, very happy <laughs> for the things that did the work. The good news is we're going to be solving. Uh, we're going to be having full iPad support in the next release. So uh, what will happen is Apple will not allow scroll bars within controls. For example, in the grid, sometimes you'll have a a scroll bar so we have to get around that by enabling that for ios devices and other uh, mobile devices okay well, that's good to hear yeah. i will uh, of course let you know via the support page a compliment for the support page it's very uh, the people are very helpful <laughs> oh thanks thanks very much yeah I'll let them know they are uh, they try very hard yeah it's a difficult job <laughs> <laughs> i know you see all kind of helps. These are the simple tool tips, or so. There's here's another Dev Express, of course, and here's another Dev Express. This is very helpful. This. So this tool tip that you're displaying right there is that a pop-up control that you're using to display it as a tool tip? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And so uh, also a lot of our controls have the tool tip property on them. Okay. Maybe. I have... Right. So I mean, for uh, images, I should say. So images have a tool tip because it makes sense, right? An image sometimes you want a tool tip. Um, but I really, uh, I do really like the way you have this as a, uh, uh, a recent example that we showed on our blogs and our webinars was this. And uh, I'm really impressed that you've leveraged this uh, very nicely into your site. Yeah, yeah. Content is loaded from Raven. Sometimes I think now this will be content that's changed sometimes. Most of the times I embed it in the source. Well, but this is HTML from RavenDB. That's excellent. Now, was there any other uh, features of the site that you wanted to show off? Some things that you're really impressed with? Um, yeah, it's, I, I really like if I just do uh, some, add some saving and so on. It's, it's you can all oh, control it because if if a user has uh, wants to do something else, I can just automatically save, so it must, so you are, I'm just a little bit, you see it's automatically saved, oh, I've controlled of the, of the client script, so if a user forgets to save what he normally does, he, uh, you, you get all that kinds of fantastic. controls that's... from the client side, and that's what I really like, that's a very important feature, for me it was, uh, yeah. I couldn't do without it, I guess. Yeah, that's really great. I mean, I, I really like you've got those little usability things that don't force the end user to think. So they don't act. Because a lot of times that'll happen on a website. You type something and you forget to hit save and it doesn't remember for you. So you've taken care of not just those design issues, but also usability issues. Yeah. And um, yeah. I'm going to have to get you to write some blog posts on how you did uh, some of these cool things with our controls. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> I'm really impressed with the with the site, and you've got some great things that I think a lot of users can learn from. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that's most of the things I wanted to show. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Everett, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate you showing us your website and 
let's see, I'll, I'll write a blog post about this and there may be questions from uh, other users. Uh, but the, right now we should be clear that this was a website that you developed. Definitely. So it's not a, let's say CMS site. It's not a, some open source site. This is a website that you developed for a client. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, custom. But would you be happy to answer questions from other developers who may have uh, questions about how you did something? No, no problem at all, because I, I had to take some hurdles, uh, you call it. I don't ever pronounce it very well, uh, in, in using the client script and, and, uh, and uh, keeping on the safe side with these things. But as you can see, I'm scrolling, it's very fast. The editing is fast too, and it was a very, uh, one last thing I wanted to show. <laughs> Even scrolling through the content is very fast. Oh. That is That is impressive, wow. Now, how are you scrolling with the mouse or the keyboard? With the cursor down. Ah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Cursor down. Keyboard support is uh, very important, especially if you're a Mac Mac user. Yes, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that uh, you've uh, you've converted, huh? You went over to the Apple side. <laughs> <laughs> Almost converted. <laughs> Well, thank you again, Everett, very much. And um, I really appreciate you showing us this. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, if you want to share your success story with DevExpress, ASP.NET Controls, or WinForms, or any of our platforms that we support, please contact me, Mehul, at mehul, M-E-H-U-L, at devexpress.com. Thanks for watching.